stuff. We've talked about selecting your knife, getting a knife that comforts you, so now I want to talk about using your knife because using your knife is just as important as having it. It's actually better because when you're out in the woods, having a knife is great. But just how useful is it if you don't know how to use it? You know? So, I'm going to go ahead and show you a few techniques you can use to apply on your own knife that might make carving, whittling, and chopping much easier for you and your mind. Okay? I'm going to see y'all here in just a little bit while I get set up. Okay, y'all, so I want to show you all a few techniques you can use on your knife that might make carving the next time much easier for you. Now, a lot of people, when they're carving, are trying to, let's just make this point, this stick a little pointy as an example. A lot of people do this. They push forward. Okay. That's okay. What I like to do, I like to hold the knife still and pull the stick back. You're not constantly changing the angle. It's less strain on your arm. That's one way. One of my favorites. Hope y'all can is get down on one knee like this and then you gotta put this knife right here in this fleshy part of your leg and then just pull back yeah i'm gonna give y'all a better angle of that so y'all can see what i'm talking about So what you want to do is you want to take your knife, non-sharp side by the way, and put it right here in the fleshy part of your knee, and just hold it right there. Take your stick, and just pull back. When you go outside, and you try this, you might be amazed at how much easier this makes carving. have way more control over the knife and the car and the strokes this way and now you have a peg let's say you want to make a tent peg to notch it you just push in do that And if your blade is serrated, like mine, you don't need to do that. You only need to do that if you're just a complete plain, plain edge. You can push in, and then saw in with your serrations. And using this same notching technique, you can use this for traps, for snares, or systems for your snares, to a tent peg, to virtually anything you might need a notch for, or even the notching part of whittling a whistle. I'll show you all how to make a whistle at some point. Notch. 
Now, what if you're stuck out in the woods? All you have is your fake blade knife. But you need to chop down a tree to set up your shelter with. How are you going to chop down that tree with just that little knife? i show you how. Ah, right, let me get set up. Alright, now, when you find the tree you want to chop down, what you need to do is find your nice, thick stick you can beat with. Alright, take your knife, set it up, first going down, beat it in a little bit, take it out. See how it took that notch out? Just keep doing that. You will eventually get through the tree. helps if you go all the way around it. That's how you cut down a tree with a knife. Alright, so that's just a few of the ways you can use your knife like you could most other tools. Um, I will see y'all in the next video. I'm trying to do these at least one to two a day for y'all. I'm thinking about doing a A to Z series. Alright, I'll see y'all soon. Bye.